Welcome to this lesson. Just a warning. This lesson is going to be a little academic. It is intended for high intermediate to advanced students. This lesson will give you the tools you need to take 2,000 words and turn them into more than 15,000 words. Trust me, I did it in university. Actually, this is the first in a series of lessons in which you will learn how to create new words and understand words that you have never seen before. After this lesson, you will know how to describe the structure of a word and you will have the vocabulary that you need to take yours to the next level. We will cover the terms morphine, root, affix, prefix, suffix, grammatical suffix, derivational suffix, and word family. The first word we'll cover is morphine. This is a word that is used in linguistics. It is used to describe a group of sounds that is meaningful. For example, the word morpheme has two morphemes in it. Morph and eem. Morph means shape, and eem means meaningful. We know that they are separate, meaningful units because they can be added to different words while having the same meaning. For example, morph is used in the words polymorph, an organism that can take many forms. Metamorphosis, the process of changing form or shape. Morphology, the study of morphemes. Morph, this is a verb that means to change shape. Morphogenesis, the origin and development of biological forms, etc. The list goes on. Eme is a technical morpheme. It is only used in linguistics. One of the words that uses it is phoneme. Phone means sound, and eme means meaningful. So a phoneme is a meaningful sound in a language. All words are made of morphemes. English uses two types of morphemes, roots and affixes. Roots can exist independently. They do not need to be added to anything else to be used in a sentence. For example, eat. If you try to separate e or t, they have no meaning on their own. Therefore, eat is a root. There are two types of affixes, prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes are added to the beginning of a root. A suffix is added to the end. It is possible to have several affixes added to one root. For example, the Latin root civ or civis means citizen, a person who is a member of a state. Many roots can be added onto it. For example, ill. This gives us the word civil. It has three meanings. One is belonging to the affairs of a people of a state. For example, civil law. These are the laws that govern citizens, as opposed to members of the military. It can also mean polite. If we add the prefix un, to create the word uncivil, this means not polite. We could say, his behavior was truly uncivil. With the word civil, you could add the word eyes, meaning to make or become, and create the word civilize, which means to make more culturally advanced. Adding the suffix ed to this creates the word civilized, meaning being in a culturally advanced state. An uncivilized means not being culturally advanced. And it goes on. We could create many more words. The point is that one root can take many affixes, and suffixes can be added to other suffixes 
to create even more words. Let's slow down for a minute. There are actually two kinds of suffixes, grammatical and derivational. First, we'll look at grammatical suffixes. Grammatical suffixes do not change the class of a word, so they will not change a verb to an adjective or a verb to a noun. They simply add grammatical information. A few examples are the plural s, one banana, two bananas, the possessive s, John's bananas, the third person s, John eats bananas. These are not all of the grammatical suffixes, but I hope it's enough to give you an idea of what they are. Do not change the class of a word. Derivational suffixes do. For example, the adjective quick can have ly added to it to create the adverb quickly. Here are two example sentences. He had a quick snack. That's an adjective. He ate it quickly. That's an adverb. Learning how to use these derivational suffixes is one of the keys to speaking English fluently. Before we finish, there is one more important idea for us to look at, and that is the word family. A word family is all of the words that can be made from a single root. Take a look at this verb, expect. We can make the noun expectation. We could also make an adjective expectant, or the adverb expectantly. Here's another fun verb, explode. We could make the noun explosion, and the adjectives exploded, explosive, and explodable. There is also an adverb, explosively. Let's take a look at the noun shape. There's also a verb, shape. This means to give shape to something. There are other nouns, shaper, shapeliness, sh and shapelessness. Then we have the adjectives, shapeable, shaped, shapely, and shapeless. Here's a quick summary of what we've learned. In this lesson, you've learned about morphemes, which are a meaningful group of sounds. We've also looked at two types of morphemes in English, the root and the affix. There are two types of affixes, prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes are added at, to the beginning of a word, and suffixes are added to the end. Again, there are two types of suffixes, grammatical and derivational. Grammatical affixes do not change the class of a word. Derivational suffixes, on the other hand, do change the word's class. Finally, all the different words that can be created by adding affixes to a root are called a word family. Mastering word families is one of the keys to English fluency. Well, that's it, folks. Have a great day.